This is source fed. Three, two, two. one. <laughs> Now, if we didn't black out, we just look stupid. Yep. Hopefully the editors didn't do that to us. In case they didn't black us out, uh, check out the fire in my hand. Zzz. Hands zzz. Oh, got you, editors. Uh. What? What? Okay. <laughs> Smack your little wall. That's a classic. Ah! Yeah! Me! I know. Me! I know. Ah! I sync, not you. You know what's funny is that like we'll put like sync jokes in the bloopers and nobody f***ing gets them. Me! <sighs> Explaining why they ain't down with the CISPA. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song or something? Down with the sickness. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Oh, dear God. We're so old. The old government basically wants to access, sorry. I had to do ah, 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 in my head. <laughs> At the UCSC's campus. As on it is on every campus. Sorry, you I, told me to do it, it so fault. I did. It was my fault. I mean, it's, no, it's, look. Hey. Let's hey. do this together. I don't want to do it together. Join I want to do it. Teams. <laughs> Team grow. <laughs> that was my ring. I'm so sorry. That's what marriage feels like. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Love well, ya. Not that much. It still hurts. It fights against other women, baby. Boom. It's like a superpower. It's really just a hard metal object. I think I'm infected. With love. No. Never gonna give you up. Now in Scotland, 13% of people comb redheads. <laughs> oh my god. 13% of people comb red made you, fire. Redhead, glory. get over here! <laughs> That's right, you ain't going nowhere till I'm done. Get all these nuts out of this main here. 13 out of every hundred people. You're free to go. You, redhead! Get over here! Hang it. Again. I know it's only 13%, but it feels like 99%. That guy Everybody's just combed constantly my hair. To comb my hair. Fine. Alright, let's reverse scroll a little bit. Let's take it from uh, Rick Astley. Hey Elliot, you're a fine dark brown haired young man. Oh, and you Joe are a handsome, mousy, brown... Oh, okay, sorry guys. Hey Elliot, you're a fine dark brown haired young man. <laughs> and you Joe are a how... <laughs> oh, and you Joe are a handsome, mousy, brown mop top. I just went like this. <laughs> <gasps> Scotland's DNA has scienced up a new test that can test couples who want to have children to see if they might have. Uh, reverse scroll. <laughs> Scotland's DNA has scienced up a new method that can test couples who want to have children to see if they might have themselves a red handed butt. I don't know. <laughs> Your tongue just falls reverse out and yep. on the floor. Like that movie Slither. So it makes the decision a brainer. Blooper. <laughs> Why did I have to sit in your camera? Like he like came up into mine. He was like, yeah. huh? you "Blooper!" Is because I think honestly I, I pose less of a threat. Blooper here, blooper here, okay. blooper over here. A couple bloopers, couple extra bloopers. Maybe a blooper to go before the bam 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 blooper. It's a fun fact. Elliot just hangs Bloop. outside the door every Ew. time we shoot because he's afraid to be alone. It's hilarious because they're messing up. <laughs> yeah, good luck, guys. Seriously, I'm sorry. He went. Blah, 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 with his butt. Safety. And then now safety. One of these days he's gonna not say safety and I'm going to doorknob him so hard and be able to just hit him. What does doorknob mean? Before he says safety, we can say doorknob. And then he has to find a doorknob and if he did, did you fart in my freaking oh, direction? Right. No, I'm not a hand, I remember the conversation now. Yeah, that's a weird, weird random game. Okay, let's do this. I, have no, I don't even. Doorknob. You look like a woman you're So either you're admitting? I said doorknob! That's a handle, bitch! <laughs> you better doorknob it so hard! Ah, uh, cool, you can just start rolling. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. Lee Newton is around here somewhere. You? Turns out that Siri is a dangerous beep. Whoa, Lee, calm down. One, are you sure you want to make an accusation that big? And two, are you sure you want to use that word? You can't take that back. Trust me. Well, in a study by the Texas door, Transportation sir. Institute at Texas A&M University, they compared the voice to text and traditional texting on a handheld device in an actual driving environment. It turns out speech to text actually took longer than traditional texting, and eye contact to the roadway also decreased. Dangerous beep! Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us. I'm trying to get people their news, and you're running around talking about farts and doorknobs. Like, that even makes sense. I think Norg just made that up so we could say safety after he farted. 
never even heard of that. I already want safety, safety up here. Apparently I'm like completely lost on all like the farting vernacular because the safety thing, I don't know what your big your, brother did, but he didn't cup of do cheese, a lot of... Your cup of cheese thing. Yeah, your, really, your big brother failed on a lot of stuff. Yeah, my well, big brother taught me both of those. Unfortunately, he passed away when I was about eight, so... Oh, man! Not really. What's up, Dave? The Texas Transportation Institute at Texas A&M University, they compared the voice to text, traditional texting. Nope, that wasn't... Nope. Well, hold on, there's snot in my nose. I can feel it. I don't think you can. Can you feel snot? Do you have nerve endings on the inside of there? I guess you kind of do, right? Yeah. yeah. 100%. Oh, I'm sorry for not being fully aware of how nerve endings are prevalent within the nasal canal. Sorry. I figured out that I would not want to sit next to you on a plane. You wouldn't want to sit next to me in any scenario. In conclusion, this is a bad thing. There's a lot of uncertainty, and our people are working on it. What if a bunch more people die, like tonight? <laughs> In conclusion, this is a bad thing, and there is a lot of uncertainty, and our people are working on it. And if there is a silver lining to all of this, it's probably the fact that scientists currently postulate that birds evolved from dinosaurs, thereby making this bird flu actually a dino flu. And if we want to, we can extrapolate the virus from this guy who's probably very sick, hopefully get the DNA out of the virus, and somehow be able to make a dinosaur. So Jurassic Park is like right around the corner, guys. Let's all slow clap. I really hate that man. Do you get the reference? Do you? It's Jurassic Park. I told you in the beginning. People are dying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere totally serious and try to like... <sighs> oh. Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. Welcome to the news... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the news...